Scotland goggles, let's fly. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something that I wanted to do for a pretty long time now. Um, I'm gonna do an apartment tour. So right now I'm just by my apartment's front door. I'm not gonna go outside because it is boring. But um, I'm pretty sure most of you know that we live in Patterson. Um, and so far I really do like it. I have no complaints about it. Um, a lot of people call it the retirement home, but I mean, I don't care. I'm not usually here anyway. So either I'm at the parks or I'm, I'm at work. So I really do like it so far. I don't really like go to the service center or the, or the pool much. I actually haven't been to the pool at all. Um, but the apartment's really nice and now I'm gonna show you around it. So this is our front door, well the back of our front door. Um, so right when you walk in, um, this is what you see. So um, our table is right in front of us and then to the right we have our kitchen. Um, so I'll show what's right here in the entryway first. Um, these were Sam's um, roommate gifts to us. Um, so this is Tori. She loves Stitch, so that's hers. Um, Juliet has Bruce from Nemo because she loves um, sharks. Sam did hers um, Simba from The Lion King. Um, mine is over here and it's Mickey Mouse. And then Olivia's over here. Um, to the left of the door is Minnie Mouse. So I have not mentioned this before, but you can probably obviously tell from that that there are only five of those hooks hanging. Um, Kate did self-term about a month ago now, um, I think so. It's been quite a while, I just didn't mention it because I didn't really see the point in mentioning it. Um, so yeah, right now it's just the five of us in here. We're assuming um, that we're going to get a new roommate soon, probably when the first fall arrival start. Um, so yeah, it should be interesting. And we also did some room switching, which I'll talk about when I get into all of our rooms. When you come in on your left, there's also a coat closet right here. We barely use it. Um, but in here, I just have one of my suitcases and we have some other suitcases as well. If this would focus, there you go. Um, just some hangers. There, we used to keep um, jackets in here, but nobody really does anymore. It literally never gets opened. So again, this is what you see when you walk in right um, by the door. We also have this little um, like basket here that we use for shoes. If you just come in and want to leave your shoes here. Also, that's my umbrella right there since I just got back from class a little while ago from my Disney Heritage class. So first off, we're going to start in the kitchen. So if you walk this way, um, to our right we have... Um, a closet. We also have some fly swatters on there because it's Florida and there's always bugs. So I'm going to show you my tr our trash. That's really exciting. Um, we just have our trash and we also have a ton of bags. Um, on the top we just have some random stuff. We have Ziploc bags, um, some drinks up there, we have some tissues, paper towels. Um, over here we have some toilet paper. Um, and just some of our suitcases in here um, and then we have just a broom and a Swiffer and we also have a vacuum somewhere in the apartment I'm not sure where it is right now though so back to our kitchen this is just an overview of it it is pretty large um, right here we literally have our inspection sheet we had our first inspection this morning we passed um, so I guess this is like a good um, just overview of what passing an inspection looks like although they were very relaxed about it so I don't really know I guess it really depends on who's inspecting so when you come straight forward we have our fridge and um, they give you this little thing with like housing tips um, and we have the Wi-Fi passwords on there um, and then to the right right here we have our pantry um, it does have so this is our pantry it has five shelves like most of the other ones you've probably seen. Um, we just keep like communal stuff on the bottom um, and Juliet stuff is actually right above um, the fridge and she is the tallest. It's easier for her to get. Um, this middle shelf right there was Kate's but we're kind of all sharing it right now. Um, and our new roommate whenever we get one will have that shelf. Again, we have our freezer and our fridge right here. I know a lot of people have actually said that they 
have had like issues with finding space in the fridge and the freezer um, with having five other people living with them but even when we had a full room of six there weren't really any issues as far as space goes we all just kind of instead of taking a shelf each we just kind of separated the food into like categories and made sure we had our name on it um, it just makes it a little bit easier and things have places rather than people just having their own shelves I feel like I'm on cribs right now but I guess I'll show you uh, our freezer and our fridge that's our freezer it's not neat at all but we know whose stuff is whose so it doesn't really matter and our fridge is not really neat at all either we just have a lot of food um yeah we also have uh two Brita filters here one there and one outside of the fridge I would definitely recommend getting one so then here's the rest of our kitchen to the left we have our dishwasher and we just put a little um like whiteboard on there so we could write whether if it was clean or dirty so that helps out a lot um, and then the sink right here we just have like a, a drying thing to the side um, and then our stove and our microwave um, opposite the sink we have a Keurig courtesy of Sam we also have some more cups here that crush one if you saw my Typhoon Lagoon vlog that one is mine and so is that Beauty and the Beast one um, we just have all of our bowls and our plates and our cups in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, in the cabinet right here we have just some medicine, some flour, um, things like that. And then on this side we have some spices, bandage, just some random, random stuff. And then in this drawer right here, again, kind of like random, just like supplies, scissors things like that. Um, in this other draw we have all of our like utensils and things like that. Um, yeah we don't really keep it too neat but it's, it's easy to find everything. We have some pots and pans down there, an electric hand mixer, if it'll focus. Um, and then we have kind of more of that kind of stuff down here. And then uh, in this cabinet uh, on the other side of the microwave is where we keep all of our like Tupperware and sandwich bags and stuff. Um, in those two we don't really have anything, just some random not important things. In this drawer we have a bunch of dish towels that we'll use to uh, clean up a little bit. And then in here we have some baking stuff. We also have a little miniature crock pot that nobody has used yet, but I kind of want to, so maybe I will. And that's pretty much our entire kitchen. Now, the only thing I didn't really mention was over here we just have some pens and uh, like our little eraser for our dry erase board. There's also an in-house phone here. And then when we came in, this is where our mail key is. Um, so we just leave it there. As we head further into our apartment, this is our dining room table. We just got this little tablecloth at um, Walmart. It's plastic, so it's really easy to clean, and it's kind of beachy. It's fun. Then we have this really cute um, 3D printed Mrs. Potts with some flowers that we put in her. And then right here we have our cork board. Um, this was not provided in the apartment. We didn't have any cork boards when we came here. Um, I think they've actually taken them out of most apartments, if I have heard correctly. Um, so don't come in thinking that you'll get cork boards anymore because um, we could literally see the holes in our bedrooms where they were, but they aren't there anymore. Um, so up here we just have our communicator for this month, um, which we just open it up to the calendar. Uh, we also have a chore chart that we don't really use, even though probably should. Um, and then we also have a calendar over here, which that needs to be updated because inspections passed. And we'll usually just put a W on there if we're working just so that we know who's working what days and who has off on what days. So that helps us kind of just get to know who we can hang out with that day. And then this is just an overview of our living area. So this table right there was provided for us as well as um, the couch here, that chair over there, both side tables. Um, we got seven chairs in our apartment actually. 
and that table that the TV is on was provided for us as well. So really they do give you a lot. I know some people don't always get all of the chairs, um, but we actually had an extra. Um, so over here we have like our little entertainment system. Um, Tori provided the TV for us as well as I believe most of the wires. I'm not really sure who brought those. Um, we have a PS4 and an Xbox. One is Tori's, one is Sam's. Um, in this little container over here, we have just some extra blankets. Uh, over here on this side table, we have this frame that Juliet made with her postcard in it. We also have a wax melter back there, which makes our apartment smell really good, and just some tissues. Um, then this chair here with our pineapple pillow, and above it we have a sombrero with some pineapple lights. We we're kind of going for a pineapple theme. We don't have too much, but it's cute still. Um, then we just have another side table over there. And then we have our couch here with um, some pillows that Olivia brought and another blanket. We really like blankets here. <laughs> so right next to the uh, couch, we also have a door that goes out to our little patio. So I'll go out there right now. Let's see if I can open the door. Yes. It's still raining out. Um, but we actually, um, if you can hear me, we got these chairs from some people that were moving out when we uh, arrived, so we just, they were giving them away, so we took them. Um, I'll usually just come out here and sit if I want to relax or call my parents or something. It's not the best view and it's on the ground, so don't come out here much, but it's still nice to have. And then finally, we have bedroom one, uh, right when you walk in past the table. Uh, bedroom two, which will be right next to uh, the door to the patio. And then bedroom three, which is right across from bedroom two. So as far as roommates go, I did say we did a little switching around once we had an empty bed. So originally, um, Olivia and Kate were in bedroom one, me and Juliet were in bedroom two, and Sam and Tori were in bedroom three. Um, once Kate left, that left an empty bed in bedroom one, um, and I actually moved into bedroom one, and then Sam moved into my bed. So um, I switched room and Sam switched rooms. Um, there wasn't really a reason behind it except for the fact that um, we just wanted a little switch around. So there wasn't like anything bad going on, but um, yeah, it's been working out really well. Um, now I'm in the biggest bedroom, so that was kind of nice with the biggest closet. Uh, so I have some more space, which wasn't really needed, but now I'll go ahead and show you all of our rooms. So we're actually going to do this backwards and head into bedroom three first. And again, this is where um, Tori is, and I did get permission from everyone to film. Um, so her closet's right here. I'm not going to go in there. Um, originally she was on that side, but when Sam moved out, uh, she decided to switch over to this side. Um, so if it would focus, this is her bed here. Um, she has a cork board back there, just some stuff. She, um, this was her roommate gift to us. Her mom did these like wooden designs for us, so I'll show you those. Um, that was my roommate gift to everyone. I made them all uh, Mickey Dream Catchers with their favorite colors. This is her vanity right here. She has a lot of pins and just some fun Disney stuff. She has her uh, whiteboard over here with her work schedule and then just her sink and vanity um, and her bathroom over here. Yeah, everybody's pretty looks pretty much looks exactly the same. Um, yeah, I'll show you everybody else's now. Now we're entering um, Sam and Juliet's room. Again, this is where I used to live as well. Um, so when you walk in, it's like straight back. Um, this is Juliet's side, and then I was over on that side, but now it's Sam over there. Um, again, they both have their things from Tori. Uh, Juliet has some of her pins that she's gotten so far on her program, a four keys card. Yeah. Um, it was Sam's birthday yesterday, so she has these post-its above her bed that say happy birthday. Um, she has a whiteboard here. Um, and then again, their vanity area. Um, yes, I am only dressed from, like, the top up. 
and then their bathroom area. Again, pretty much the same as bedroom three, and you'll see the same thing in mine and Olivia's room. It's all pretty much the same. And then finally, we're gonna head into my room, and of course, I'll go a little bit more in depth into my stuff. I just didn't really want to like go through everyone else's stuff. So when you walk in, Olivia's on the right, and then I'm over here on the left, so I'll just quickly do Olivia's side. Um, she has her bedding here, which is super cute, her table, then she also has her thing from Tori, calendar, um, the dream catchers that I made, she has her um, little bucket hat from work, um, and then just some stuff over there, and now my side. So this is an overview of my side of the room. Um, my bedding is from Target. I saw it online and I fell in love. It's uh, reversible too. It's like a gray Minnie Mouse on the other side, but I love this side. Um, then, oh, I forgot. Olivia made um, those pillows for us as our roommate gift. She asked us all our favorite character, and it actually matches my bed really well. And um, then I also have this pillow. I got it from Disney about uh, two years ago now, and it's been on my bed at school, and of course I wanted to bring it down here. It matches with everything, so I love it. Right above my bed, I have my dream catcher that I made for myself. Here, I'll zoom in on that. It was my first, like, real crafting thing, and I have to say I think I did a pretty good job. I'm usually not that crafty, but came out much better than I thought it would. Over my bed here, I have, again, the same thing that Tori uh, made for all of us. She let us choose the color, and that was the one that I chose. Um, then right above that, I have some hats hanging up. First, I have my Monsters University hat, then I have my Minnie Mouse hat that I got at Disneyland because it was the only time I could find an adult size in it, and then to the right I have my Wishes Farewell hat. Um, just on my bed right now I have my computer. Um, I have to show you this sticker, it's super cute. Um, I got it at Company D, it's just a cast member sticker. I've pretty much been buying anything that says cast member on it. To the right here I have my dresser, so just right now on it. I have my phone. I got this case at Cast Connections for like eight bucks. I have this button from um, Park Bound Buttons or Casey and the Bear that I got um, this past year for my birthday when I went on my Disney cruise. So I had some characters sign that. I just have this cup that I keep on here all the time with some water in it. Um, I have a necklace lying there. A little Polaroid picture of me and my friends from school. Um, a fan because I get really hot at night usually. Um, some tissues. And then this really cute thing that um, Kate made us. As one of her roommate gifts. It has a, a little Rapunzel sun on it. And she just like glittered the whole thing. And put a tea light in there. Um, just a candle. A fake one. And then I just put some change in it. Some markers and a Mickey straw that I got. So over here at the edge of my bed I just have my hamper. Um, my backpack that I usually take to the parks and some shoes that I should probably put away. And then here I just have a little cork board again that I bought and put up with some pictures of my friends and I from school. Um, I also have um, some Mickey ears. Those aren't the ones I got from Traditions. Those are ones that I already have my name on that I brought down here. Um, I have my little earning my ears tag on here. And then I also have this thing that we got. Um, during one of my days of training, they did a Magic Kingdom cast celebration, so there was a little party. Um, so I got to go to that, and we got those lanyards. Um, then I just have my calendar up here with my schedule. I got this calendar at the Character Warehouse for, uh, 99 cents. And then just some pins on here. I have my little, um, Up Disneyland pin, and then I also have the same one from Disney World, so I love those. And then I have um, this one that Juliet gave us, which is super cute. And then over here we have our dresser. So the right side is mine and the left side is Olivia's. Um, up here I have some of my ears, the ones from uh, here over are mine. Um, yeah, I love ears, they're so fun. And then here I have pins that I am not trading. I have a whole other bag of pins that I do trade with some of my magic bands here as well as my, uh, I'm celebrating my DCP acceptance button. Over to the right of that I just have some hooks with some necklaces hanging. And then right here is all of my stuff that I pretty much use to get ready in the morning. I'm gonna just have a makeup mirror and some um, little hair elastics 
bobby pins and hair ties and then in this gray thing I just have some extra makeup um, I have my straightener there because I pretty much straighten my hair every day then I have this really cute um, Moana music box that I keep all of my jewelry in um, she's so cute I love it I got it at um, Cast Connections for super super cheap um, right here I just have a container with all of my makeup in it and then this is a cute little mug I'm pretty sure Kate gave it to us and she drew on it I just keep my makeup brushes in that um, I got this mug the other day at um, the character warehouse from flower and garden this year and I just have some like sunscreen hairspray lotion just some random random stuff again just looking at an overview of our room when you turn to the right we have our vanity um, right in front of us or our bathroom to our right and then closet to our left um, so I'm gonna head into our our bathroom first actually um, we have our toilet here and then Olivia got this um, over the toilet caddy thing that her dad put together um, so that helps with space uh, we have our shower curtain here although we are planning on changing it very very soon because neither of us got to pick this so we want to do something um, a little bit more beachy or Disney and a little more whimsical um, so that will be changed soon uh, directly in front of us we have our vanity I just have some makeup wipes over there we both are using um, that toothbrush holder um, underneath I just have a box full of like extra supplies and stuff and then we have just a little medicine cabinet over here um, which doesn't really have much in it and then right over here we have our closet when you walk into our closet my stuff is directly in front of you and then Olivia's stuff is on the right we also have our lockers here I use the bottom one um so yeah this is all Olivia's stuff I'm not gonna go through that Up here I have just some boxes filled with extra stuff I just wanted somewhere where I could pretty much throw stuff into I have some laundry detergent all of my clothes here I found this shoe organizer outside an apartment that I somebody was giving it away so just have all of my shoes in there um down below that's my work backpack and then I just have one of my suitcases in here as well on the back of the door I just have a hook or I'll either hang my park backpack right now it is my Dooney, which is so pretty. Oh, I love it so much, and it matches my magic band, so I always wear both of those to the parks. Thanks for watching my apartment tour. If you have any other video suggestions, um, leave comments down below because I'd love to do um, other videos than vlogs, uh, and I think it'll be fun. I want maybe to do like a what's in my park bag or what's in my work bag. Uh, just different things than just vlogs all the time. Thanks for watching my video again, and I'll see y'all next time.